point, we got a surprise for you. Mr. Z, I bet we can trick you. No one can trick Mr. Z, Bula. He's so old, he knows every trick in the book. Gigi is right. I'm far too clever to be tricked. I haven't been tricked in a, in, a, in a zillion years. But I bet you, we can make you say orange. <laughs> no, 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 you can't. <laughs> okay, Mr. Z, say blue. Yeah, blue. Okay, Mr. Z, say yellow. Yeah, y y yellow. Say green. Green. Say pink. Easy. Yes, we win. We got you to say pink, Mr. Z. But I, I thought the trick was I, I, I wasn't supposed to say orange. <laughs> <laughs> but you just said it, Mr. Z. We did, we did it. You said orange. <laughs> uh, yes, you did get me to say orange. Clever, very clever. <laughs> Now, I have the perfect story. Last shelf, first book on the right. I'll g g get it. You know, the king of the beasts was once tricked. Tricked by a clever little jackal. Here it is. Everybody ready? Mr. Z, let's begin. <laughs> once upon a time. The animals of the world used to live in homes, just like people. Jackal arrived at the village feeling very hungry indeed. He had not eaten for many days. Hmm, what's this I smell? Food! At last, something to eat. Jackal looked all around to make sure no one could see him. Then he moved closer to the pot to eat some of the food. I won't eat too much, just enough to keep me going. But someone was watching Jackal. Yes, can I help you? It was the lion. He'd been busy working on his house. Uh, oh, oh, uh... I was just wondering what you were doing, oh mighty king of the beasts. Can't you see? I'm fixing my roof. That looks like hard work. Need a hand? Very kind of you. I'm hoping to have the roof finished before supper. Jackal <laughs> hoped that if he was kind enough to help Lion, Lion might share some of his dinner with him. All right, then. It's always good to help someone in need. <laughs> Jackal climbed onto the roof with Lion, and they set to work. You tie that small bundle to the pole while I pat this grass tightly into place. Of course, Lion. I'll be only too glad to. Lion's tail kept accidentally flicking poor Jackal in the face. Then Lion looped his tail around the pole. After all, I wouldn't want to fall off. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Oh, goodness, no. We wouldn't want that. Of course, Lion didn't suspect that the only reason why Jackal offered to help him build the roof was because Jackal was very hungry. Finish in time. Do you mind if I join you for supper, oh mighty king? Sorry, but I don't share. I'll be eating all the food myself, but uh, maybe next time. Jack was very disappointed. He was working really hard for Lion. The least Lion could do was share the dinner with him. Hmm. I shall just have to get something to eat another way. Jackal tied one end of some rope to the pole, and when Lion wasn't looking, he tied the other end to the lion's tail. Now, I'd better keep out of Lion's way. The roof was soon finished. 
Lion was very pleased with the work. Ah, yes, a job well done. No rain will come in through this roof. Lion still hadn't noticed the rope tied to his tail, but he soon would. Oh, are you sure I can't have a teeny weeny bit of your yummy, yummy stew? Roar! Touch my food, Jackal, and I'll have you for dessert. Well, I'd like to see you stop me, you big bad beast. <laughs> <laughs> Angry lion leapt off the roof, only to find that his tail had been tied tightly to the pole. What the? What? What? What the? Delicious. Yes, sir. You should try some lion. After all, you did cook it. <laughs> <laughs> Lion tried You're desperately so to climb back up the roof to untie his tail. Ah, when I catch hold of you, Jackal, you'll be very sorry you treat me. But the more the lion struggled, the tighter the rope became. Selfish Lion was well and truly stuck. Oh, no! I can't get free! Eventually, all Lion could do was watch. Jackal ate every last drop of the delicious stew. Then he fell into a deep and happy sleep, his tummy nice and full again. Teach me not to share. I'll never be selfish ever again. <sighs> of course, the old lion wasn't very happy about being tricked by the sly little jackal. Yes, e even today, lions get v very angry if a jackal tries to steal their food. Well, I think the lion deserves to be tricked. He didn't want to share. And Jackal did help him fix the roof, right, Mr. Z? Yeah, yes. One good turn deserves another. Uh. Hey, look, everyone. This house needs fixing. Does it? Let's see. Ah. Oh. Let's go and find some dry grass and some string. Then we can fix the roof. That's a very good idea. Every house needs fixing once in a while. <laughs> oh, Gigi has an idea of her own. <coughs> Gigi, what <coughs> are you up to now? Nothing, Mr. Z. I just want to play a trick on them. We're back, Mr. Z. And we've got what we need to fix the roof. <gasps> Where did that line come from? Hmm? Hmm. And the pot? How did this jackal get here? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Gigi, are you and Mr. Z trying to play tricks on us? Tricks? Who? Us? Never. Tell them, Mr. Z. Hmm? Uh, 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 tricks? Oh, never. Uh, that's just magic. Don't you know by now? All stories are, are, are filled with magic. Oh, Pula, isn't he cute? Uh, <gasps> oh, uh, look! Uh, the, that lion! It's alive! <gasps> it's not really, Pula. But remember, anything can happen in the magic cellar. <laughs> Be careful with that lion. He can be a, a little grumpy at times. <laughs> <laughs>
Zoom in.